In this video, I will show you how to automate adding or embedding metadata into stock photo images using the free Exif tool program on Apple's Mac OS operating system. If you are a Windows PC user, I have another video to be linked above and in the description. Before this video, you were probably adding your titles, description and keywords manually to your stock photos using Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Bridge. We have a video on this linked above and in the description. With Exif tool, this repetitive and time-consuming task will be a thing of the past. Exif tool is a free widely popular small program that lets you read and write various metadata in images and videos and many other media formats files. The focus of this tutorial is to show you how to add title, description, keywords and copyright metadata into a stock photo image. Yes, only images. While it's possible to embed metadata into your stock videos too, in my experience, stock photography platforms such as Shutterstock, Pond5 and many others do not recognize this metadata in uploaded stock videos. And you have to use a workaround method to keyword and title your videos that I will talk about in my next video to be linked above and in the description. You can subscribe to our channel and get notified when this tutorial comes out. First, let's start with the installation web page for Exif tool maintained by Phil Harvey. Here there are instructions on how to download and install the program. Download the DMG installation file and double click on it. You may see this warning. The solution is to go to the security and privacy settings in your system preferences and allow the app installation to proceed. After the installation, you can check that the program indeed works. Go to Applications and then the Utilities folder and start the terminal, which lets you execute text format commands. Type Exif tool into the command line and you should see this help in documentation for the program. Hit the Q button to exit out of the Exif tool program. The next part is to have all your JPEG files in one directory. When you try this algorithm for the first time, I recommend using a backup copy of your files just to see if things work right. To write metadata, you can execute a certain command for each JPEG file individually. This is not what we are after here. We want to process a batch of JPEG files at the same time. Luckily, Exif tool created a special command that lets you take metadata from a comma separated values or CSV spreadsheet file and then embed it into a list of stock photo files. Let me show you what I mean. This is a CSV spreadsheet file I created specifically to write metadata into my stock photo files. The CSV format can be easily opened and manipulated using any spreadsheet software you have on your computer, such as Excel or LibreOffice. It is important to maintain the exact header with column names as shown here. I will share this template with a link in the description. The first column is the source file, which must contain the exact path and name of your JPEG file. The second and third columns are the title and description for your photo. I tested and confirmed that Shutterstock takes description while Adobe Stock gets hold of title metadata when you upload your images to them. Because most stock photo agencies have only one field that they call either title or description, we typically have exactly the same values in both fields. The next item is your keywords that must be separated by a comma. Let me stress the importance of having comma separation that we'll explain shortly. The next four fields will mark your photo as copyrighted and indicate the artist's name along with copyright text. To write metadata into stock image file, you will need to execute the following command in the terminal. Let me explain each part of the command quickly. First is the call to Exif tool. Next is dash override underscore original, which will embed metadata and will not preserve the original file without it. If you do not have this option, you will have a bunch of original files in your directory with the same name and the underscore original appended at the end. It is up to you to keep or not this option. Next is the dash SEP comma in quotation marks option, which will make sure that each keyword separated with a comma in your CSV file will be treated as a separate keyword. This is the reason I mentioned that your keyword list in the CSV file must be separated by a comma. If it is separated by something else, say a semicolon, you need to change your exif tool command accordingly. If you do not have this option, the entire field of keywords will be embedded as one long string. The next option is to indicate a path to your CSV file. Then the next path points to a directory where your JPEG files are located that you want to embed metadata into. 
Ok, let's put this to test. Consider these JPEG files that do not contain any metadata, as you can see by right-clicking and looking at the Get Info option. First, let's get path for these images. How do you do this? Luckily, it's an easy matter in Mac OS. Open your text edit program and in the Format menu choose the Make Plain Text option. Next, select your desired JPEG files in Finder and drag them into Text Edit. This will populate full path and file names that you can copy and paste into the CSV file like so. Next, have title, description, keywords and copyright data filled out as desired. Then open up the terminal and modify the command I gave you to point to the right directories. In my case, it would be this exif tool directory on my desktop. Then hit enter and exif tool will execute and confirm that it updated a certain number of files, in my case 3 stock photo images. Let's check that it worked by going to get info by right clicking on the file. We can see that the metadata was indeed updated. Then the ultimate test is to upload the files to stock photography platforms. Here I uploaded this image on Shutterstock and you can see that it got hold of my description and keywords. Know that Adobe Stock will get hold of your title, not description. Similarly, Deep Meta took all relevant info such as title, description and keywords as you can see here. That'll be it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you identify an area in your stock photography workflow that you can automate by embedding title, descriptions and keywords to your stock photo images using free EXIF tool. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We will have more tutorials about all things related to stock photography and how to succeed in it.